got a notification. Whoops, hold on. Legendary, thank you so much for the host. How are you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. Again, don't say sorry. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> I'm just, just saying it off the bat right now. Thank you for stopping by. Happy Friday to you. I should say happy Saturday, actually. Just one second, just sending a text here. Again, I hope you're doing well. Gaming Master Legendary Pew, but thank you for saying that nonetheless, but definitely not a Gaming Master. Okay. That wouldn't be so bold to call myself a Master, but thank you. <clears throat> okay, so I left off with that girl, <clears throat> and I need to go bail her lover out who was in trouble with some sharks. I can't let Date-san go by himself. I need to get to the Hanagata building on Pink Street. The lone shark is there. All right. So, uh, Pink Street is going to be towards the... Over here. Hmm? やっぱり。そうじゃないかと思ったのよね。わかるのか。だって、キリュウさん、どこからどう見ても さえはいつから俺にもそういう時期があったんだよ。え自分が何もできねえガキだということも分からず、勝手に突っ走ったあげく。周りに迷惑をかけちまった。キリュウさん。まだ手遅れじゃない。伊達さんのところは急ごう。うん。誰だ
I was having a conversation, you fucking asshole. Dialogue tree. This is why I don't want to move, because it's going to aggro people. This is why I need to stay still. Oh, so annoying. <笑>話して片付くほど借金は甘くないぜ話しても無駄ってことなら、なんでお父さんはあいつらのところに行ったの? <笑> だてさんは何も考えちゃいねえよ。え自分の娘が売られるかもしれねえって時に、いちいち考えて行動なんかできないさ。とにかくお前を守りたい一心で向かったんだ。お父さん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
そいつを回してくれたらさやの借金チャラにしてやるよどうだいい話だ<笑>話にならねえよ強がってんじゃねえよ翔太 Oh she's gonna see that he's part of it 悪情な親父だねあんた娘大事じゃないの大事だ大事に決まってんだろさやには指ボン触れさせねえだったら要求を飲めよ俺はさやの父親だだが警察官だお前らの要求は飲めねえじゃあさやはどうなってもいいんだあああんたはさやより仕事を取ったんだな殺せよなんだと殺せって言ったんだここで俺が死ねばさすがにお前らでも逃げきれないだろう日本の警察は甘くねえんだよそれにさやはさやはきっと俺の友達が守ってくれるじゃあ望み通りにしてやる別に俺らは殺なんか怖くねえ花から失うものなんてねえんだよ<笑>This, bro, you really want it? Because you're gonna get it. Niju got young hack that day. Jordan Nishtemo, what I a shinena. Shomo does it. Oh, now he's all chicken shit, huh? ができたなキリュウいやお父さん普通の女子高生なんだなそうしてるとやだジロジロ見ないでよお,お父さん<笑><笑>さや俺はダメな親父だ10年前お母さんとお前から逃げ出しただからお前に何も言えたギリじゃないと分かってる But don't sell your body. それでも一つだけ約束してくれないか自分をもっと大切にしてくれさえが幸せになるためにもっと自分自身を愛してくれそれでもお前が苦しんだり危ない目にあったら俺は守ってやる守ってやるから分かった分かったから泣かないでよ I guess in Japan you, you just slap it out of him
課長<笑>何かああちょっと話がね<笑>何のお話でしょうか10年前君は独断である事件の捜査を進めその後のキャリアを滞らせた二度目がないことは分かっているねええまあ担当直入にいよう今君が調べていることからすぐに手を引くんだどの件でしょう交渉の余地はないんだよ伊達君今すぐ手を引きなさい話は以上だ失礼しますお,おい伊達君ってるなね、ビアクスゼナル。どうだ、須藤君。誘拐犯なんですね、伊達さんと一緒にいるのは。そうだ、依頼主は明かせないが、捜索願いが出ている。上から直接頼まれた異例の任務だが、一家で引き受けてもらえないか。わかりました。This is gotta be chapter seven now, yep. This is the flashback again. So, no, you're so ja. Kashiwagi ni nakuma de okorale tate kanji ana. This is the chapter three by Shimano. Kita de Odore no Kobun ni te aitoru yo ya no, Nishiyama. せっかく風間のおやさんにいろいろと便宜を図ってもらったってのに俺が不甲斐ないせいで<笑>やっぱりわしが思ってた通りや風間っちゅう男もえげつないことをやりよるのどういうことです本気でお前を大事に育てる気やろうややったらそんな連中選ぶはずないやろがまあ嫌な思い散々させてお前が根あげるのを待っとるんやろなそんなこれだけは覚えとけ風間はな桐生に組を持たせたいだけや桐生のやったことは絶対許されへんせやけどな皮肉なもんやが桐生の評判はすこぶれえでまあ大物やったちゅうのはそれなりの貫禄がつくもんやシャバに出た時はもうお前には手の届かんところにおるやろな親殺しの下道でも貫禄さえつきゃそれなりに上になれるんがわしらの世界やひょっとすると目障りなくらいでかい組こしらえるかもしれんでも柏木さんは桐生が出てきたら俺の組で面倒見てやれってどやこ目覚ませ面倒見られんのはお前の方やまあでもそん時は桐生もやりづらいやろうからのお前の扱いには困るはずや<笑> Damn, is everybody shitting on this guy? 人も殺せんガキが無理しても先はあらへん片たにでもなれや<笑> Like how the streets are conspicuously empty now Chapter 7 The Dragon and the Koi. Oh, Kiryu. Koi, tell me to grey. That's her mother, was she dead? Kesa, Tokyo, and Yagata, on Nano Swiss Taida. That's her mother. Kono, you let me. <laughs> 
死因は頭部挫傷および出血多量によるショック死死体はコンクリートの重しをつけられて沈んでいたかなりの拷問を受けている水木なのか何とも言えんがただこの入れ墨水木の入れてた模様と一緒なんじゃないのかこれはどうしたこの辺りよく見てくれ小さく歌って文字が見えないかあああこいつは二代目歌堀の仕事だこの堀氏は必ずどこかに自分の命を入れるんだじゃあこの死体の入れ墨もその堀氏が俺の背中も掘ってくれた千両通りとピンク通りの間の竜神会館にいるはずだ写真の女が水木ならはるかには酷だあいつには伏せておくあ,あ Poor little girl. ちょっと出てくるいってらっしゃいダデさん俺の事件のせいで四課に飛ばされたって言ったよなまあ昔の話だチャンスがあればまた一課に戻れるのかどうだろうなどのみち俺は組織の鼻つまみ者だ戻ったところでな案外今くれ自由な身の方が俺には合ってるのかもないっそのこと探偵をやってみるのもいいんじゃないかいやせやほら腐っても警察官だ勇敢マダムの浮気調査や猫の行方探しなんてな柄じゃねえもっとこう正義のために駆け回っていたいんだよ<笑>そうかい何か分かったら Let me know when you find something out. あまり無茶すんなよ何か分かったら、All、right. So I actually will be right back. I'm gonna go grab another drink. Is I am parched? So I will be right back. <clears throat> Alright, be right back. Just gonna grab a drink.
All right. Gonna grab my drink, and I should be good. So let me go back to Yakuza here. And the green should show back up. All right, so I have 136. I've actually uh, gained quite a bit, so I can actually upgrade. 85, Diamond Claw. An explosive attack executed in a bear claw stance just as you're attacked. A Herculean attack only usable by a carefully trained body. Right trigger. I'll ask Utabori about Mizuki's tattoo. His parlor in Yurujin Hall is right behind Pink Street. Alright. So I can actually check with Bob now. See if there's something I can get with the CP. Is there something I can get? Nope, I need 15. Thanks right, so much for that. Um, are there any... Side stories I can do. Wait a minute. Theater Square has one. Okay. I got pocket tissues. Funny how this city looks totally different in uh, daytime. More pocket tissues. Where's she going? Is she going in the elevator? She disappears once the camera's out of sight. Wow. How about that? Okay, too. Okay, so there is a cell phone booth here. But I want the uh, repair box, repair kit.
So let me try uh, doing this. Use on the dagger. Oh, it only works once. Oh boy. Two eighty five. Going on. Ying Long Tonfa. I guess I'm not skilled enough to use it. What does that mean? Very odd. But I mean, that other weapon is uh, 35, 65. Alright. So you think you can pick a fight with the Yakuza and live? Shut the fuck up. <sighs> the Beat King's Misfortune. Okay, sub story. You think you could fuck with Yakuza and get away with it? Shut the hell up. That's the gang Takashi was running with. It looks like they're in an argument with some Yakuza. Hey, what's going on? What is with this guy's piercings? You're the guy from before. Step off, this ain't shit. <laughs> oh, your boyfriend here to rescue you? Hell no, this fool's got jack shit to do with us. Yo, yo, bro, this ain't looking so good, though. Shut your mouth. We can take these chumps. Hmm, looks like you've got some guts, I'll give you that. But it's better if you just leave the money and beat it. Huh? Fuck that. You started this fight, but we're not afraid to end it. You'll have to kill us before you get a single damn yen. You think? Then that's just what we'll do. Take your best shot, you sorry Yakuza shit. <laughs> Boom. The guy's got guts. Something bad is about to go down if I don't step in. Took care of him. Ugh, damn it. You better watch your backs from now on. Oi. Hey, are you alright? Forget it. We didn't ask for your help. Just tell me what happened. Some Yakuza picked a fight with one of our boys, trying to shake him down for all his cash. We were just getting some payback. But then that Yakuza asshole called in his backup, and you know the rest. I see. <sighs> well, never thought I'd say this, but I appreciate the help. Here's some shit they dropped when they ran away. We don't need it, so it's yours, Holmes. Brawler Amulet. Street clear of the Yakuza from now on, they're bad news. That gang's getting to be a real pain in my ass. 
Are they going to turn the corner? Just curious where they'll go. Yep. Fifty thousand points, hell yeah. And of course spawns how do they see me? I'm not cool guys. This, bro, you don't want this. Well, that looks good. Those ribs. Alright, so I can actually get the other one now. Was that? Fifty six out of seventy eight. Oh, the B-Kings, that's the one. Found some bunch of gangbangers. Takashi, they said his name was. Um, I don't remember. I gotta look him up. Oh, he's the father of the florist, okay. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Alright. Alright, are there any other sub-stories uh, active? Yes, there is. Purgatory. Okay. This one I can't do until Haruka's here. And then there's another one over here. Senryo Ave. Alright, so Purgatory it is. So you want me to go to Purgatory? It's funny how different this looks in daytime. Alright. Uh, well, I could... 
could go this way here and take a left. with honor and humanity. Why, hello there, sir. Good day to you. This is a scam. I presume that you are Kazuma Kiryu-sama, formerly of the Tojo clan, ex-Dojima family lieutenant advisor. Who are you? Thank you ever so much for asking, dear sir. Furthermore, I apologize in advance for any confusion I may cause with my forthcoming statements. Firstly, I was born in the Asku Asakusuka, Asakusa district of Tokyo. Secondly, regarding my occupation, I am a retainer to the Atobe family's third patriarch, Keizo Atobe-san. Thirdly, I would like to introduce myself. My surname is Yoshikawa, while my given name is Ichirota. Though if it pleases you, my compatriots refer to me as Ichi. As you can see, I am but a fledgling who has caused some measure of annoyance to my superiors, so I hope to atone. May I also state, for the record, that I am honored to have made your acquaintance and hope to call you a friend. And, what does the Atobe family want with me? <laughs> Aha, I'm glad you asked, good sir. Well, in the interest of honest disclosure, you see... That young fellow, Takashi, seems less than reliable. Hmm, yeah. I guess he was kind of a little punk. I could see why you would be worried. As such, I've been charged with ensuring the young couple's well-being, sir. But I haven't the faintest notion of where their whereabouts. So, Kiryu-san, could you please help me find the young lady? Well, I guess I'd recognize her if I saw her. I would feel ever so reassured if one who knew this town so well could have me locate the young lady. Uh. Sure, I can help you out. <laughs> I knew you would help me, Kiryu-san. My patriarch was right. You really are the paragon of honor and humanity. Well, if you ever see the lady, I would like for you to give these to her and the young lad she fancies. Receive matching mashikoyaki bowls. Hmm? Hmm, what's this? If you give them to the young lady, she'll understand precisely what it means. Uh. I see. This is just a handoff, then. Boy. Indeed. Kiryu-san, I'm counting on you. <clears throat> Not that I have an idea where I'd find her. Maybe I could start with checking out where I saw them last, which means asking around at Club Devola. Kiryu-san, thank you ever so much for your help. Please give these matching mashikoyaki bowls to the lady. As for myself, I shall continue searching for her over here. Sounds like a scam. Sounds like a scam. First I have to go to the last place I saw Takashi. I'll ask around for him at Devola. So Devil is back at Theater Square. So I guess I need to go back. Fuck, there's dudes everywhere. Theater Square. <laughs> yeah, 
and you can't interact with anyone here. Oh, hell no, it's you again. <clears throat> What's your problem? You stalking me or something? Yeah. No, why would I do that? Whatever. You're crazy, man. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm looking for Takashi. Know where I could find him? Hmm. And what if I did? So you're saying you won't tell me for free? <laughs> Damn straight. Nothing in this world is free, Holmes. What do you want, then? Hmm. Uh. Tell you what. You bring me a tuna and egg sandwich, and I'll tell you where Takashi is. Mm. Sorry, but I've got nothing for you. Then I can't tell you where Takashi is. Damn. Can't believe I need to give this clown a sandwich. Mm. Mm. I really gotta fetch him a tuna and egg sandwich. That's crazy. I fuck this game. Sometimes I tell you. sandwich. Alright, so that's gonna be at the Papo store. Which there should be a Papo right here. Please have a tuna and egg sandwich. Uh, you don't have it. Shit. So it's got to be at Smile Burger. Of course, there's more Yakuza right here. Alright, they need a tuna and egg sandwich. It's got to be here. Hmm. 
tuna and egg sandwich. Alright, so there's that other place which is like Papo. <clears throat> it's the competition. It was like M. M something. So where are they? M store. Alright, so let me try there. So I gotta go this way. Then this way. So M store should be right here to the left, yep. So hopefully this is the place. Tuna and egg burger. Yes, I'm a fat. Tuna and egg sandwich. Sandwich features an egg mayo mix with tuna on white bread. Yeah. All right. Good. Now I gotta go back to Devola, which is Theater Square, which is right here. the tuna and egg sandwich for me. He's gonna want something else too. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Score! This sandwich is my jam, man. I'm happy for you. Now tell me where I can find Takashi. Oh, right. I saw him heading to the batting cages with his girl. Back to the batting cages, huh? Got it. Thanks. Hm. Anytime, homie. Got his sandwich and he's all good now. Right, batting cages. The king leader said he saw the two lovebirds heading for the batting center. Figures, I'll head over there myself. Right, so the batting cages is over here. Alright, there's the batting cage. So there's gonna be a fight. I came here because I heard Takashi might be here, but is he? <clears throat> yep, there they are. <clears throat> the same spot they were in before. Looks like I found them. Now I just have to give them the matching bowls I got from Ichi.
You're right, Takashi. Kyoko, we should go soon. Boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the guy from before. Kiryu son, right? We owe you a lot for what you did. We decided to leave town. I'll never forget what you did for us, but it's time we moved on. <clears throat> yeah, I see. So what's up? You came all the way here for a reason, right? I'm here because I want to give you two something. Gave away the matching mash mashikoyaki bowls. Uh, matching bowls? These are for me? I don't get it. Those bowls, could it be... Yoka, you know what this means. They're the ones I gave to my father. Kiryu-san, where did you get these? I got them from a guy named Ichi of the Atobe family. He said you'd understand if you saw them. I see, Dad kept these bowls after all these years. When I was a kid, I gave these to my dad to make a point about how he'd been ignoring my mom all the time. You wouldn't use matching bowls unless you were eating together, right? I'll never forget the sadness in his face when he opened them up. Is this his way of giving us his blessing? We'll have to take care of these, right? Kyoka-chan. Both of us, together. Takashi. Kiryu-san, like I said earlier, we're about to leave town. We'll go somewhere far away and start over. I want to make sure they know that I got the message from Kyoka's father. I'm taking this seriously now. Would you tell them that? Uh. Yeah, got it. I have an idea. Could you give this to Ichi-san? Receive Kyoka's ring. Mm. A ring? Once we settle down, we'll come and visit Dad, and he can return it to me when we do. Maybe we'll have a new family member by then. Kyoka, <laughs> you're so cute. Kiryu san, thank you for coming all the way out here for this. Kiryu san, thank you for coming all the way here for this. Don't forget to give my ring to Ichi. Fuck it, let me try the batting. How do I enter the batting cage? This one seems like it's broken. 300 yen to play one game on the beginner course. Should I play? Well, we've never done it before. I have no idea how it plays. We do have two million yen. Move the left stick to aim, then press A to swing the bat at just the right time. Points are added to your score by hitting the target with the ball. Betting on your score, you can win items. <clears throat> Okay, I'll play. <clears throat> oh shoot, that is sensitive. Fuck. This is fucking funky. Oh, that's... this that shit. I got zero points, damn. I gotta hit the targets up there? What? Curveball. Okay. No points. 
How do you dictate where it goes? I don't really understand that. Sure, what? I have no points. I'm hitting the ball. I'm not really sure what the timing is about. The higher you aim is the way it goes. Jeez. I guess that's where I'm gonna... Okay, I guess I need to, like... Keep it here. That's what I gotta do. Wow. I, I guess that's what you need to do. I'm not really quite sure what... Try that again. That wasn't, uh... Do I, do I have to aim for the home run sign? Maybe that's what it is. Not the targets way back there. Maybe I was just doing it all wrong. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Okay. So it's just timing. Okay. Alright. I was doing it all wrong. Understand what it what it's about. <laughs> and also his stance changes. He tenses up. That's your time to strike. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> see, I was thinking you had to follow the ball. My mistake. <laughs> if I can get 
get a perfect, that'd be cool. looking at his animation, it does change. Baseball shirt, toughness, light, pocket tissues. Alright, well, I did that. So now I need to go back to West Park to give that dude the uh, prize. There's guys here. Give him the old one, two. I have to give this ring to that guy named Ichi. Boy. Ah, Kiryu san. So, how are you faring? Have you perchance located the whereabouts of the lady? Uh. Yeah, I found her. And she gave me this. It's for you. Gave away Kyoka's ring. This is, no mistake about it, it's the lady's ring. So that means you gave her the matching bowls. <laughs> I'm so pleased. And where is she right now? She said she's leaving town. <laughs> With the promise that she'll come back, and when she does, Atobe can return the ring to her. Is that so? The young lady. She's really something. And from Takashi. I want to make sure you know that I got the message from Kyoka's dad. That's what he said. Hmm. Looks like the young lad is finally willing to step up. Thank you very much, Kiryu-san. As for me, your message has reached me loud and clear. You've done a lot, sir. Not just for me, but for my family. This is a token of appreciation from the Atobe family. Please accept it with our humblest gratitude. Gambler's Binding. Alright. Hm. This town and its people have more honor and humanity than the rumors led me to believe. Yo! Dude, J.K. Robinson, what up, dude? Posture check, ooh. I actually have my, uh, lumbar support going on right now, so I'm good, thank you. How are you doing, my man? Cheers to you. Well, please excuse me. Thank you for everything, Kiryu-san. We'll repay this kindness one day. Alright, 
That's another sub-story down. Sometimes people just need to walk their own path. As a man, you've taken one large step forward, Takashi. I hope you can stay on that path without losing your way. Right, cool. Yeah, what's going on? How are you doing tonight? How's your week been? 50,000 points. All right. That is great. So, I can look at... Oh, wait, hold on. Coliseum. Yep. Oh, these are actually... Actually, I haven't been reading these either. Um, I did. I did, but I only had it for like two months. Um, I really only played it for uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma. But they announced that it's coming out for PC, so I was like, oh, don't need that anymore. See, I don't have it anymore. I, I used to have it for like two months. Haruka, raised in Sunflower Orphanage, Haruka turns out to be the daughter of a woman named Mizuki, who is Yumi's sister. She came to Kaparocho in search of her mother, where she meets Kiryu, who also seeks to find Yumi and Mizuki. She soon learns she too is a target and is kidnapped by Majima. She is freed by a mysterious man who tells her that her pendant is worth 10 billion yen. Sohei Dojima, a leading patriarch of the Tojo clan, the largest Yakuza organization in eastern Japan. While in his prime he was a man of great power and influence, he finds himself now reflecting on the glory days of the past, while Kazuma, his captain, runs the family. One rainy night in 1995, after kidnapping Kiryu and Nishikiyama's childhood friend Yumi, his life is ended when Nishikiyama arrives on the scene and shoots him. Kiryu takes the blame for the crime and is branded as a patriarch killer. Akira Nishikiyama, Kiryu's closest friend, grew up alongside him in Sunflower Orphanage. After Kiryu takes the blame for the murder of Sohei Dojima, Nishikiyama becomes a patriarch of his own family and secures the backing of the Omi Alliance to rise to power. At an officer's meeting, he exposes the Tojo clan's missing 10 billion yen. Shinji Tanaka, a former Dojima family man who became a Yakuza for his admiration of the Dragon of Dojima. After Sohei Dojima's murder, he is transferred by Kazama into the Nishikiyama family to keep a watchful eye on him. He decides to help Kiryu and provides him a way to sneak into Sato's funeral to meet Kazama. But after Kazama is shot by a sniper, Shinji takes him into hiding. His whereabouts are unknown. I'm doing a marathon of Splinter Cell on PS2, only cause my PS3 broke and it's super hard to get my hands on an Xbox Series X right now. Ah, I hear you. I could have sworn uh, the Splinter Cell games were backwards compatible on the 360 though. I'm pretty sure if you have a 360, it's, it's, they're still backwards compatible if you have the OG Xbox ones. But yeah, you. Um, I don't know if you were around for the Shenmue streams, but I actually just, before this, I just finished all the Splinter Cell games. So I, I did... Splinter Cell, Pandora, Marvel, Chaos Theory, uh, Double Agent, Conviction, and then Blacklist. Masaru Sera. Sera became the Tojo clan's third chairman after the acting second chairman stepped down. He steers the clan into an age of prosperity, keeping a tight leash on its funds and its wildcard patriarchs like Shimano. But when 10 billion yen of the clan's funds goes missing, his leadership is thrown into question, and he is murdered mysteriously. Now the clan finds itself in a war over who will succeed him. They are, I have a 360, but the laser went out on the disc drive of a 360. Oh, sorry to hear that. But yeah, it, it was really fun revisiting the games. Uh, especially the first one. The first one, and Chaos Theory. Um, I would love to play the... the OG Xbox version of uh, Double Agent because it is very, and, and PS2, 
is very different than the 360 PS3 version. And that one wasn't... It's very average. So one day... Shintaro Kazuma, a legendary Yakuza with a strict moral code of honor and humanity, trusted and admired by many. However, he is also a man stained by a dark past as the Tojo clan's best hitman. He runs the Sunflower Orphanage where Kiryu and Nishikiyama grew up. He reunites with Kiryu at Sarah's funeral, admitting his regrets about Nishikiyama's transformation. When he's about to speak about Yumi, he is shot by a sniper and is taken into Shinji's custody, who is protecting him from further attempts on his life. Osamu Kashiwagi, an old-fashioned Yakuza who runs the Kazuma family as Kazuma's right hand. He is quick-tempered and terrifying when angry, however he has found his chill as of late. Kiryu and Ishikiyama regard him as an older brother figure in their lives. There's his son of a bitch, Futoshi Shimano. An aggressive hulk of a Yakuza at the head of his own family in the Tojo clan, akin to the power of Kazama. He has no love for Kazuma or his pet project Kiryu, and blames Sarah for the loss of the clan's 10 billion yen. When Kazuma is shot at Sarah's funeral, Shimano takes the opportunity to attack Kiryu as the perpetrator, but Kiryu escapes. Goro Majima, an aggressive and unpredictable Yakuza often called the Mad Dog of Shimano. He is true only to himself, but maintains a high opinion of and a borderline obsession with Kiryu. Finding a bone to pick with Kiryu's philosophy of life, Majima chases him everywhere in hopes of finding new ways to force Kiryu to fight against him. At Shimano's behest, he kidnaps Haruka, which aligns with his own goals of fighting Kiryu, but he loses and even goes so far as to take the knife wound intended for Kiryu. Yumi, this is the girl I've been looking for. Yumi grew up with Kiryu and Ishikiyama at Sunflower Orphanage. When the two left to become Yakuza, she followed them to Kamarocho and became a hostess at a small bar called Serena. After witnessing the murder of Sohei Dojima, she suffers from traumatic memory loss and disappears from the hospital. However, she later resurfaced to visit Sunflower Orphanage to deliver letters to Haruka, her niece. She gave Haruka Mizuki's pendant, said to be worth 10 billion yen, and is suspected of the theft of that money. Reina, the proprietress of the luxury club Serena, located in Kamurocho. She has known Kiryu and Ishikiyama for 10 years, and when her childhood friend Yumi came to Kamurocho, she warmly accepted her at Serena. She offers knowledge to Kiryu after his 10-year absence in the form of telling him about Mizuki, Yumi's younger sister, who worked at Serena until last year. She is surprised to hear that Haruka is Mizuki's daughter. Kazuki the young owner of Stardust, the most popular host club in Kamurocho. He is sincere, well-liked, and trustworthy. He is a sincere... That, that's a not good grammar. As Kazuma was the benefactor in his club's early days, he readily agrees to help Kiryu, who returns to Kamurocho after ten years in prison. He informs Kiryu that the Tojo clan's third chairman, Sera, has been murdered and that Nishikiyama has become patriarch of his own family. Yuya, a hot-blooded host of Stardust, the most popular host club in Kamurocho. He admires the owner Kazuki, who doesn't bend to the Yakuza and his business acumen. He acts as both bouncer and bodyguard, especially against Yakuza who demand protection money. He mistakes Kiryu as one such man of the Shimano family, but is impressed by Kiryu's strength and morals, quickly reversing his rash judgments. Makoto Date a former homicide detective in charge of the Sohei Dojima murder whose insistence on Kiryu being innocent of the crime got him demoted to organized crime. While investigating the murder of Chairman Sera, he rescues Kiryu from the uproar at the funeral. He forms an alliance with Kiryu in hopes of discovering the 10 billion yen at the center of the case. After Kiryu sells, helps him settle affairs with Saya, his daughter, Date discovers that the corpse found in Tokyo Bay may be Mizuki, Haruka's mother. <coughs> Junichi Sudo. An elite detective, he used to have great respect for Date, a senior officer, but now considers him something of a rogue element. Mizuki. Yumi's younger sister who worked alongside Reina at Serena five years ago. 
She left to open her own club, Eres, but then went completely dark. It is believed she is Yumi's accomplice in the theft of the Tojo clan's 10 billion yen. She is identified by a flower tattoo on her chest, and a corpse washes up in Tokyo Bay bearing the same tattoo. <clears throat> The Florist of Sai, the man in charge of Purgatory's underground surveillance network of homeless spies and more than 10,000 cameras. Once a police officer, he was caught selling information and was prosecuted to Date's assistance. After QDU prevents Takashi from stealing the Atobe family's money in order to elope with the family patriarch's daughter, Hyoka, the Florist finds he now owes QDU a favor. Date. Date's daughter, she rebels against her father who doesn't seem to care for his family by getting in over her head in the city nightlife. She needed money to aid Shota, her boyfriend and host from Stardust, and borrowed it from a loan shark. When Date goes off alone to settle the debt, she entreats Kiryu to look after her father. It is then that she sees firsthand how much Date cares for her and his job, as he risks his life and his pride to save her. She reflects on her actions and reconciles with her father. Takashi. The long-lost son of the florist of Sai, his girlfriend is Kyoka, the daughter of the Atobe family patriarch. He mistakes Kiryu as an Atobe pursuer and attacks him, but eventually realizes Kiryu was trying to help. He has angered his gang by attempting to leave, but with Kiryu's assistance, he is able to flee the scene toward Debola, where he plans to meet Kyoka. However, he finds the Atobe family waiting for him. He attempts to prove he can take care of Kyoka with an act of self-mutilation, but thanks to QDU, secures the permission instead. <clears throat> All right. All right. So what other? There was another sub story down here, and I think that is it because I can't do that just yet. All right. So I gotta go down. Someone help. Sounds like a scammer. Excuse me, sir. Whoa. Please help me. <clears throat> hmm? What's wrong? Are you okay? Without it, I'm going to die. It's gonna be something so stupid. Try to stay calm. What happened? So, what happened? Well, I got jumped from behind by these two guys, and they snatched my bag. The medicine I need to stay alive was in there. You look like the helpful type. Please, I beg of you. Can you help me get my medicine back? What did the men who took your bag look like? They were both tall guys wearing red tracksuits. Two tall guys in red tracksuits, huh? All right, wait here. Oh, thank you. Can I ask your name? Oh, it's Kiryu. Kiryu-san, it's nice to meet you. I'm Koizumi. They took off toward Theater Square. Please, hurry. Please, can you help me? I need my bag back from those two men wearing red tracksuits. They ran toward Theater Square. Please hurry.
How unlucky that the medicine for his illness was in the bag those thieves took. I have to get it back or else Kozumi's life is in danger. Better hurry to Theater Square. It's just, it's making me run from like side of the map to side of the map. That's annoying. That's a little frustrating. Travel by taxi 30 times. Okay. So I could go by taxi. Hey, buddy. You interested? In what? Ink, my man. Ink. I'm talking tats. So you interested? I guess you could say that. Really? You can go traditional or western. Your choice. Either way, I'll give you a kick-ass discount. Oh, sorry, but my back's filled in already. Your back, sir? It's in Utabori. Utabori-san did your back? Oh, I get the picture. Sorry to bother you. Huh? I didn't realize I had to take a taxi 15 more times. Let me just grind that out right now. I want to say thank you to whoever's watching. Appreciate it. So I'm just doing this for the CP. I need to do it 15 times. Annoying, but... I'd rather do it now. Just to get it all out the way. You love grinding. Okay, ten more times. All right. You gotta love it. So hotel district is where I want to go. All right, eight more times. <clears throat> Seven. Six. Five. This is riveting stuff, whoever's watching, so. You do what you gotta do, though. Try to get that 100%.
All right, should be unlocked now. All right, cool. So now. Theater Square will be this way. It's an annoying grind, but sometimes you gotta do it. Be here to the left. So here's the guys in the tracksuits. Well, I made it to Theater Square. He said they were wearing tracksuits, right? Many. What? Ah, uh, but it's the red tracksuits. What color was I looking for again? I need to make sure I approach the right duo. And just to confirm... Red tracksuits. Those two could be the guys. Should I say something? Those are the guys. Time to confront them. Boy. Hey, you guys. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What do you want, old man? You guys recently stole a bag. I need it back. Mm hmm? And you came after us, all alone. <laughs> <laughs> what a brave guy. Too bad you're gonna end up giving us all your shit, too. I'll give you back the bag. Forgive us, please. Got the dying man's bag. We'll be going now. <laughs> Peace out, Holmes. I got the bag with the medicine, so I better get back to Koizumi as soon as I can. And where was he again? He was, uh... down here. Alright. <laughs> so now I need to turn this way. My man is over here. Oh, 
Oi. Hey, I got your bag back. You did? Ah, thank you. Can I have it, please? I need to take my medicine. Uh. Yeah, sure. Oh, I can't thank you enough. <sighs> you saved my life. I would have died right out here on the streets. Yeah, it's a good thing I passed by. <sighs> Truly, I'll make it a point to carry my medicine separately from my valuables from now on. Uh. That's a good idea. Oh, by the way, I'd like to offer you something to thank you properly. That's not necessary. Yeah. No, if I just let you walk away, I could never live with myself. It's not much, but please take this. If 150,000 yen. I'll take that. There, I can't thank you enough. I guess I should get going now. Mm. Yeah, wash yourself out there. Hi. I will. Hmm? Uh-oh. Is this... the medicine? What? Hey, wait, I think you need this. Oh wow, you just see NPCs just spawn in. That's hilarious. Ooh, 50,000. Oh, yeah. Yes, I can finally increase my attack. Hell yes. Alright, cool. Boost health, boost health. Boost health, health, iron gut. <laughs> Handgun or shotgun. Reach rank A, Dragon Speed, Tonfa Mastery, rank S. Oh. Idol Goro, what? Hmm. Oh, should I max up my health now, or should I get heat action attacks? 50.
Oh, it has to be climax heat. Okay. Ten, twenty, thirty. Number resist. Use your battle style after a taunt, quick step blow. Rush combo. Quintuple quick step. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I suppose at this point I should just uh, focus on my health. Alright, so I think that's it for sub stories. With the exception of this one in the park, but I can't do that just yet. So I need to be with Haruka. Was it 2 30? Oh, yeah, man, I don't know if I should do the story. It says I have five viewers. Thank you, whoever's watching. Let's see, what uh, restaurants have I not been to? Yoro Dantaki, Ronto, Shellac. Oh, I can go to Shellac. Knock off those two, two drinks. That'll be right here. So I could do that. Alright, so let me, let me knock that off, because that's two drinks in Shellac. So I've been meaning to wipe that off my list, so I'll be good. Alright, Sherlock is right here. So there's two more drinks. Valentine's 17 year old scotch. This is the ultimate blended whiskey. Aged for over 17 years, it's a masterpiece of rich and smooth flavor. This could very well be called the crown jewel of Valentine's whiskey blending experience. It's well loved the world over, to the point of some calling it THE Scotch. Oh, bottoms up. Yes, one more for the road. Corvassier. For some cognac, a remarkable specimen from France. Corvassier XO won top prize in worldwide cognac tests. The use of high quality grapes from borderies to create the eau de vie gives it depth, but it's still remarkably smooth. You can't talk about cognacs without having drank this at least once. Right. What 
the same. I'm good, brother. Finished you out. Um. Oh, wow. I have not seen a dog appear before. That's a first. Um, alright. So let me leave here. No, I didn't mean to go back in. Substance completion list. Yoronotaki, Ronto, Vincent Bantam, Kanrai. So there's quite a few. How many more? On the five million, that I am two million five hundred. That, that makes no sense. Vincent, three out of seventeen. Conrai, where is Conrai? Smileberger, Pronto. Yoronotaki, Cafe Alps, Sushi Jin, Kanrai. So I could go there to eat. Attack has increased. Whoops, your ass. All right, cool. All right, so the barbecue place is right here. Welcome. Calbi, this beef rib meat is popular for its incredibly rich flavor. Mm. This thing that sucks that you can't just grind, you gotta keep going one at a time. That's annoying. Grade A Kalbi. This top grade meat is selected from only the rarest, choicest cuts of beef rib. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Sirloin, to the light flavor and relatively low fat of this beef sirloin steak. Oh, so you can order everything. Okay. Great A sirloin, the flavor of this choice sirloin from top grade Japanese beef is incredible. Not I mean, this beef skirt steak is actually considered to be awful, but is very popular. This skirt steak from top grade Japanese beef is an incredible treat for your taste buds. Cheap barbecue, you won't be able to get enough of this choice beef intestine. Grills up juicy and delicious. Seafood platter, a platter of the sea's delicious bounty, including shrimp, scallops, and squid. Kimchi combo, a tantalizing combo dish of kimchi made from Chinese cabbage, cucumbers, daikon, and more. Stone cooked bibimbap, bibimbap. 
Enjoy this bibimbap with our spicy sweet cochujang sauce, roasted to a golden brown for an irresistible taste. Spicy beef soup. Spicy beef soup with rice is one of our house specialties. Hell yeah. I didn't realize you could do that. That's great. Oh, that just saves so much time. Hey, William, what's up, bud? Happy Friday or happy Saturday to you. How are you doing? I just realized you can order so much food. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that makes things so much easier. I, I thought I was doing it the wrong way. You're fine. Good to hear, bud. All right. So that's another restaurant down. What other restaurant do I need to do? Bantam, Vincent, Pronto, and Yoronotaki. Bantam, casual bar. Is there something? Nope, there's nothing up here. Huge number one star already had that. So Bantam is right near. Take you guys out in one shot. Our Bantam is right here. Alright, so I can only drink. These are all the same drinks from the other bar. These are all the same ones, with the exception of Sky Vodka. Oh, it only lets me order one at a time. Oof. Alright. Yeah. I've already had that before. This is new. This is one of Japan's top brandies. This bestseller has won over countless people with its bright, fruity aroma and smooth taste. As for the name, the SOP stands for Very Superior Old Pale. Alright, can't drink anymore. I hate about these bars, it doesn't let you do that. Uh, where is another place? Yoronotaki. I need to go down. And then down here. You're an otaki. Cafe Alps, I've eaten here. Hello. 
Welcome to Yoronotaki. How many in your party, sir? Here's our drink menu. Medium-sized mug of draft beer that many like to start with. Its creamy head and crisp taste are perfect after a day of hard work. Oh, I can only get one drink. Are you serious? Fuck. All right. Would you like to eat something as well? Sashimi platter, three pieces. Three-piece sashimi platter featuring select cuts of fresh seafood. Enjoy the bounty of the ocean. And selected vinegar mackerel. We have carefully selected mackerel with fat on it. The recommended dish of this store. Pochori salad. Pochori salad brimming with Welsh onions. Peppery dressing drizzled on top and pungent onion flavor match all manner of drinks. Edamame. The soybeans in the pot are pretty much the default snack when drinking. Skewer platter. A plate of five different skewers. The secret to their popularity is the special spicy miso. Smelt fish with roe. The burst of flavor from the roe wins over many who try this perfectly grilled fish delicacy. Salted yakisoba. This addictive yakisoba dish mixes a rich salty sauce with cant Welsh onions and can be eaten as a meal or a snack with drinks. Juicy mince cutlet. This popular mince cutlet is packed with meaty goodness that fills your mouth each time you take a bite. Stir-fried bean sprouts. A simple dish that champions the humble bean sprout accented with a peppery punch. Once you start eating, it's hard to put down. Cassis and Lemon Sherbet. No matter how much you've already eaten, it's always easy to make room for this tropical sherbet dessert. Eat away, eat away. Oh yeah. Thank you, please come again soon. Alright. So it's really the bars that I need to work on. Which is as annoying as that is. So I could go to Pronto and eat there. Knock that off the list. <laughs> Welcome. Please take a look at our lunch menu. Can I start you off with anything to drink? Blood orange juice, a fresh juice that uses blood oranges from Italy that has a refreshing acidity and sweetness. Eggplant and bacon marinara. The taste of the ingredients shine in this tomato spaghetti with eggplant and juicy bacon made from Danish pork. That sounds delicious. Vodka spaghetti with shrimp. This popular spaghetti uses flavorful shrimp mixed with rich tomato cream sauce. Basil and avocado sauce spaghetti. This extravagant pasta uses rich avocado and shrimp mixed with basil sauce. Spicy mentaiko spaghetti. This spaghetti has a solid taste that can only come from using real spicy fish roe full of texture. Three cheese carbonara. This carbonara uses three types of cheese and is topped with gooey eggs and liberal use of rich, creamy sauce. Mushroom pepperoncini spaghetti. This pepperoncini spaghetti, made with a house original garlic oil, matches well with thick cut bacon and delicious mushrooms. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ha 
ありがとうございますいらっしゃいませハットコーヒー Wait a minute, that didn't count Wait a minute. <clears throat> Order everything on the menu at Pronto. What? Coffee. Hot coffee, please enjoy the simple but rich taste in coffee. They use pea berry coffee beans. This American coffee uses pea berry coffee beans and is easy to drink. <sighs> Mouth watering. <laughs> Cafe latte. Enjoy this cafe latte rich with milk and espresso using pea berry coffee beans, giving it a rich but sweet taste. <laughs> royal milk tea teapot. Please enjoy the scent and flavor of this royal milk tea that uses ample amounts of milk. <laughs> Milk. Please enjoy this whole milk that has been pasteurized at low temperatures with care. To be preserved, it's a natural farm fresh goodness. <laughs> espresso. Please enjoy this rich tasting espresso made from pea berry coffee. Pronto not completed here. What? That makes no sense. Is there another Pronto? I don't believe there is. Lunch and dinner menus. Oh, so it's daytime and nighttime, maybe? Is that what it is? Good thing I did this during the day, then, because then I'd be screwed. So I would have to be reminded that when it goes back to nighttime, I'll have to do the menu here again. Okay. That's annoying. Um, where else do I need to do it? Gorotaki. Pronto. Vincent and Bantam.
Well, I can go back to Yorono Taki and see what's going on. Sucks that they kicked me out. That's annoying. Lemon sour, a beverage with a refreshing lemon taste that cleanses the palate nicely when eating snacks. Alright. Grape Sour, a drink popular due to the exquisite balance between its tangy undertones and the refreshing sweetness of grape. It's all a part of the grind. Fresh grapefruit sour. Freshly squeezed grapefruit juice gives this beverage a fruity flavor and a touch of bitterness that many enjoy. that noise cutie makes. Bakuhai. The Bakuhai is a popular Yoronotaki original cocktail that blends whiskey and beer. So it's going to limit me as to what. I'm going to have one more drink. It's not going to let me have any more. Gyokuro Green Tea Cocktail. A cocktail made with Gyokuro refined green tea. It has a smooth taste that matches almost any kind of cuisine. Okay, that didn't affect me with alcohol. Okay. Sure, the next one will. Kaku Highball. This highball has become a classic. It has uniquely sweet fragrance, and the ice cold soda gives it a real zing. But will it let me have another drink? I mean, it's not a bar. I wonder if they'll allow me to. Cassis Oolong. This old favorite is a mix of Cassis liqueur and Oolong tea. All right, one more. It's not a bar, so I guess they're not programmed to kick me out. Come on, let me let me have this one drink. Mojito. This rum-based cocktail features the subtle taste of hint. All right, cool. 
Very nice. Alright, cool. So that's as good as I'll do for today. It's already 3 in the morning, so I should be going to sleep. Alright, well, I was able to knock out some more sub-stories. Do a little bit more progress in the story. But whenever there's an opportunity that presents itself in terms of sub-stories, I'm going to do that. For sure. So, let me um, just take a look here. It says I have four viewers, so uh, let me see if there's anyone on Twitch that I can uh, raid, I suppose, if anyone's up at this hour. I don't know if anyone is, that I know of at least. Uh... Oh, okay, so Galaxian is on. Galaxian is doing uh, Mr., uh, which is FPGA for Arcade. So that's cool, yeah. I'll go ahead and do a raid for Galaxian. He's a very chill guy. Looks like he's playing Street Fighter 2. So if anyone is interested in checking that out, come along and hop along. He's very cool, and he, and he plays on actual arcade hardware too, so that's very, very awesome. So thank you. Those of you who popped in, William, J.K. Robinson, Legendary Pew, and anyone else who was watching, thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, next time, uh, maybe tomorrow. I, I, actually, you know what? I have a podcast to do tomorrow, so I don't think I'll be able to, to do this. So, whatever next time is, I will read some more sub-stories and story. So, thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a good night.